Well, from gold nuggets to tops and accessories, did yeah. you know an acclaimed fashion specialty chain has its roots in the Alaskan gold rush? Well, pull up a chair. Daybreak History Class <laughs> is now in session. Right. Laura Downing Bill, author of Aunt Phil's Trunk Book Series, is back for our weekly segment. And it's Alaska story time with Aunt Phil. So good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. I like the hat. I've heard Thank so you. much about Fantastic. this segment. You know. I love it. Thank you. So uh, which retailer is this? Well, some of you might have noticed that a new store is coming to town in the Sears Mall called mm. the Nordstrom Rack. Mm -hmm. But you might not know that Nordstrom's can trace its roots back to the gold rush of 1898-1897. Oh, wow. Wow. So I understand it was founded by a young Swedish man. <laughs> yes, John W. Nordstrom, young Swede, headed north. He got into, uh, let me think, it was New York City mm. in uh, 1887. He was 16. He had $5 in his pocket pocket and he couldn't speak any English uh -oh. but he made his way up to Michigan where he labored away in an iron mine and then eventually made his way to the West Coast oh wow wow, wow. so he was like it was 50 bucks a day and he was a logger and a sawmill but you know soon after all those changes he read you know there was something that changed yeah he um, he read an article in the uh, the Seattle Post Intelligencer. He was working in the Puget Sound at the time, and he read about the gold rush of the Klondike and Alaska and Canada, and so he immediately booked passage on a steamer and went up to Skagway, climbed the Chilkoot Trail, and then oh, wow. floated down the Yukon River wow. to the Klondike gold fields. Um, and he staked some, uh, oh, they thought it was some good land, and he actually had some success. He, a few years later, he sold that claim, and he went back to Seattle with $13,000 in his pocket, which in today's money is about 300 and some thousand. Wow. wow. So, I mean, big profit. What did he do with all that money? Well, he went to school, business school, and then he also Smart. built some rentals, mm -hmm. and then went into business with a man, a friend of his named uh, Wallen, Carl Wallen, and they opened up Wallen and Nordstrom Shoe Store at the corner of 4th Avenue and Pike Street in 1901 and they had a lot of success actually over the next 20 years because they emphasized quality value and service and then they opened up a second store at the University um, District in 1923 and then um, in 28 he retired his sons took over and they bought out Wallen and started expanding their shoe store and they eventually became the largest shoe chain in the nation and then in um, expanded more into some high quality clothing and then on um, 1971 they went public mm. and changed the name to Nordstrom as changer. we well know yeah. yep. and then uh-huh so it was a, it was a shoe store first yes it was oh, a shoe store and it was on the it was on this side of the of the coast yes yeah very interesting yeah so when did Nordstrom's arrive in Anchorage 1975 they came into Anchorage and again stressing customer service and quality really was the game changer for uh, this this particular company they um, actually told employees you will not get in trouble if you offer too much service <laughs> you'll get in trouble if you don't offer enough service right. wow. yeah. and um, so they're one of the few companies or people that can trace and uh, that they use their Klondike money to create something instead of losing it like most of them did yeah. as evidenced by a brand new shop opening the oh, Nordstrom's right. rack right. Yeah. in the mall. Yes. That's incredible. What a great story. Yeah. Thank that's you. a great story. I had <laughs> no idea. I think of that now every the time Alaskan I go shopping Nordstrom. Yes. yes. All right. Yeah. Well, Laurel, thank you so much for being with us this morning.